All right, so today I'm going to do my start screen with my start button. This is an update from an older video that things have changed a little bit. So let's go ahead and play it and see what we got. We, we're going to enter the game, the player will enter the game, and they'll be presented with a start screen, and then they have to press this button to start. So we start, boom, now we're in a lobby. I thought that was pretty cool. So if you want to do this, you want to build along, I will get a fresh world and you can build along with me. All right, so now we have a fresh world. Let's go ahead and put a, a lobby in there. We'll make a very simple one. So that part, I just added a part to the world. I'm going to make that the floor. Let's go ahead and anchor it, and we'll make the size. Let's see, 50 by 2 by 50. You can make this as big as you want. Decorate it as much as you want. So collisions are off. I'm going to control D to duplicate it and duplicate it in place. I'm going to look for my orientation because this is going to be a wall. So I'm going to just flip this 90 degrees in the Z. There we go. Let's move it out of the ground. And I'll turn collisions on so I can just bump it to the floor. Now I'll turn collisions back off so I can move it into place. You can move it into place with, it, with collisions on too, but I wanted to control D and duplicate it in place. I let, oops, control Z. Let's grab the, the red, I had the Z. There we go. And shift and click the other wall. Now both of them are selected. Let me go up a little bit. Do a control D to duplicate again. Let's go ahead and rotate that. Nice. Go inside. Go to model tab. Hit a spawn location. And now you have a little lobby. Just make sure everything is anchored. Everything is anchored. Good. Hit the spawn, shift, and click the bottom part. Right click, group, lobby. And you can move this and decorate this however you want. All right, now we need a nice scenic scene for, or maybe a scary scene for your start scene. Uh, let's see, go to home, toolbox. I use these palm trees, right? So I had a scenic scene. And now notice that the palm trees aren't quite lined up and on the ground. So I'm gonna fix that by making sure collisions are off. Hit the move button, and I'm just gonna push this in the ground a little bit. There we go. Hit your editor. Let's see, go to edit paint let's add some water there we go water 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 that'll work maybe a little more all right we'll go to sand i'm going to make the brush bigger this base size i'll make it 15 and that way i can i can paint more quicker cool go and get rid of the editor now we need to add a focus part for our camera so i just added a part to the ground here and it's pretty close to where i want it i mean to move it this way Let's move it up some. Nice. Make sure it's anchored so it doesn't fall as soon as you start your game. Let's see, where's my anchor? There it is. Now, we don't have our surface properties anymore. Uh, that was pretty cool to find out where the front was. We need the front. But what you can do is you can just hit this plus sign, right? And then put a decal. It'll default to the front. And if you don't believe me, you can go to the properties in the decal, and it says front for the face, right? So you can change it to whatever you want. There's a whole bunch of different properties or different places you could put it top side left things like that all right now i don't need it anymore it's pointing in the right direction so i'm just going to delete it but if you didn't know which way it was what which way front was you you uh that's a good way of finding out now i'm just going to move this down one two two clicks maybe cool and let's call this focus We want the transparency to be one. So set transparency to one because we don't want to see it in the game. We also don't want to run into it. So we'll turn can collide off and uh, we're good to go. Now we can start scripting. So let's go to starter GUI, starter GUI, screen GUI, and let's add a text button. And there's our text button. Let's make it a little bigger. Find center. There we go, center. Let's make it a different color. I'll do green for go. Background transparency on your button. Let's make it like 0.5 so you can kind of see through it a little bit. Uh, the name of the button, we'll call this play button. And we have font. Let's make that like bangers. That's kind of a good one. And then for text on the button, let's make that start. Cool. And text scale, it's nice and big. 
Nice. All right, on the tech, on the play button, I think I'll put the local script right on the play button. So hit that plus sign on the play button, hit local script, and then I'm going to call the start script. Start script. All right, so in my start script, I'm going to need a couple of variables. I will need one for the camera, and we're going to do the workspace current camera. I need one for my focus button, All right? And that's in the workspace, workspace focus and I need a variable for my play button and that's just script op parent all right now I'm going to do this loop and I don't like doing the loop but we have to do the loop because there's no real good way of finding out whether the camera is uh, you're able to change it to scriptable which that's what we have to do so I'm going to do this repeat until loop right so I'll do a wait just 0.1 second and then I'm going to get the camera and I'm going to try and change the camera type to enum scriptable. Oh, uh, enum, I'm sorry, camera type scriptable. And it's not going to change right away because when your game's starting up, it's not, you're not going to be able to change it as soon as, un, until a certain point. And that's why I, I use this loop. But what we can do is we could put this condition for the loop. So this is where we're trying to assign it script, scriptable. This is where we'll test for the condition whether the type, the camera type, actually got assigned scriptable. You need to put an extra equals here because equals equals is for comparison. Single equals is for assignment. So we're trying to assign camera type to be scriptable. Here we're testing to see if the camera type is in fact scriptable. And then when it is, and it will be, so we'll probably only loop through like twice. We're going to do camera C frame, and then we're going to set it to our focus parts C frame. That's why we needed to know what the front was. So that's the part we're going to look through. Then we'll do this local function on play. This is when we're going to press our button. Well, when we press our button, we're going to get our camera. We're going to change our camera type back to enum camera type custom but oh, i have currency type camera type custom all right and then for the play button i think in the last video i destroyed it here i think i'll just take the visible equals false all right and then we'll do play button activated and connect that to on play get rid of those two extra parentheses so when we press our button, we're gonna fire this and the camera will go back to normal. We will be in the lobby. We've always been in the lobby. It's just that we are viewing our, our scene right here. All right, another thing you wanna add, if you die, that, um, that start button might pop back up and that's gonna be annoying. So I'm just gonna to go to the screen GUI right here and I am going to say reset on spawn equals false and that will get rid of that annoying problem. Let's go ahead and play it. There we go. There's our start screen looking good. Hit our button. Boom. We're in our very, very simple lobby. Cool beans.